Hello, I'm Heather Dawson, and it's a pleasure bringing you the best of California every week on our show. So let's start our show with a trip to Mexico, a Mexican destination that will dazzle you with ancient Maya ruins, Gulf of Mexico waters, and colonial cities all in one swoop. Marco Gutierrez takes us to the Yucatan Peninsula. Tequila, the agave-based distilled spirit from Mexico, is one of the most widely consumed alcoholic beverages in the United States, with California coming in as number one in tequila consumption. For National Tequila Day, I got to speak with Mr. Tequila himself, Juan Bonilla. For every opportunity I have, I try to explain to people you know, the difference of why it's better than one tequila or another, and so on. So over the years, I started gaining that nickname. You know, at first it was just a tequila guy, or we might just change to Mr. Tequila, you know, as years pass. Bonilla's family has been involved in tequila production for more than a century. He is an expert not only on the spirit itself, but in the business and culture around the drink and has been exporting and consulting for over 10 years. So I concentrate on all these small batch premium or ultra premium tequilas where, you know, they have a lot more years of the agave, they have a lot more uh, conscious decision of which agaves to use. Also, you know, how long it's going to be in the barrel, if the barrels are a specific type of wood or not, and so on. Now, making tequila relies on centuries-old know-how. Agave must grow for an average of six to ten years, meticulously tended before they are ready to harvest. Every year will have a slightly different taste, and slightly different aromas, and so on. So that's what I tell people all the time. It's like, just give it a chance, and when you go to a bar, taste three or four different ones, and usually, depends on what you're eating or what you just have to eat or if you're in the mood you're sad or you're happy or you want to dance or whatnot that changes the flavor on your mouth and a lot of people don't realize that bonilla is dedicated to teaching the history and artistry of tequila through the annual viva tequila festival which highlights the food drink and culture of mexico a place where we can get thousands of people you know experience that same thing so so you get to try, you know, we got usually between 20 to 30 different tequilas with 20 to 30 different options to pair. So you go and ask, you know, for, I will say sushi, and then that sushi is going to be paired with some tequila. Now the Viva Tequila Festival Tour will take you on an exclusive trip down the historic timeline of the tequila trail, sleeping in aristocratic haciendas, 
savoring unique dishes straight out of Mexican folklore and sipping craft tequilas in some of the world's most exclusive spirit producing regions. It's, a, it's an experience like no other, to be honest. I, I really wanted to, to tell people how I feel about tequila, right? And the only way to do it is to experience that way. What we do is to really curate it, to have a pace where, you know, we just visit and visit and visit. It's one thing that you will remember for the rest of your life. For more information, visit VivaTequilaFestival.com and make sure to follow us on Facebook at California Life with Heather Dawson to catch the full interview with Mr. Tequila, Juan Bonilla. Reporting for California Life with Heather Dawson, I'm Marco Gutierrez. The Heavenly Home was the idea of a two-time stroke survivor who is committed to fulfilling wishes for those at the end of their life. One of her dreams was to build Southern California's first heavenly home, a place where terminally ill individuals and their families could go to be cared for at the end of their lives. Her dream is becoming a reality. Imagine a place where those living out their final days can live in beautiful and peaceful surroundings with the physical and spiritual support they need in a home-like setting. That's the concept of heavenly home, an end-of-life home being established in Orange County that will give terminally ill patients an opportunity to complete their lives with peace and dignity. There is still a desperate need to create a place where hospice can be provided for those who have nowhere else to go. Currently, there are only three nonprofit community homes for the dying statewide, none in Orange County. But we are working to change that through the Heavenly Home Project a capital campaign that we launched to create a loving home for the last stage. With a growing need for such facilities, the Southern California Hospice Foundation has embarked on the Heavenly Home Project, a first of its kind residential end of life care home in Orange County. So the Heavenly Home Project was something that really has always been the vision of the SoCal Hospice Foundation. We've always had a vision of opening an end-of-life care home in Orange County and servicing the needs um, of patients that really have nowhere else to go. We realized that there were incredible gaps in the ability for the patients and families to uh, access different aspects of, of care and support. Slated to open in 2021, Heavenly Home won't be a hospice home, but a place where those with housing challenges can receive the end-of-life care they need in a beautiful setting. With the help of generous donations, the Heavenly Home Project has purchased a six-bedroom home that's being remodeled to accommodate the special needs of hospice patients. And we've dubbed it the Heavenly Home Project because we want it to be a place so beautiful and so wonderful that anyone would want their loved one to come and be cared for in this home. For many in the final stages of life, there are financial challenges as well. Sometimes the course of the illness can be overwhelming for the resources that are available inside of the typical home. But when something needs hospice care, Medicare pays 100% of that care for the medical care for that patient. Medicare does not pay room and board. And that is where the Heavenly Home comes in, by providing the room and board on a sliding scale based on income, making it affordable for any budget. Heavenly Home is able to do that thanks to generous donations, including a million dollar matching grant. We just received a one million dollar matching grant to help for the sustainability of the home. So there are a lot of ways to leave a legacy uh, in the community. Um, we're thrilled to say that uh, because of our $1 million matching grant, um, all contributions will be matched dollar for dollar, doubling your impact. You can go to our website, www.socalhospicefoundation.org, and you can give directly online, or you can call us at 877-877. 661-0087 and I'd be happy to speak with you and tell you about all the ways that you can give. And this is just the beginning. There are plans to establish heavenly homes in every county in Southern California. We can't extend the days people are here, but we want to bring more life and more quality of life into each and every day that our patients have and their families also. You can learn more about Heavenly Home at SoCalHospiceFoundation.org. Bringing you the best of California, I'm David Wiley for California Life. Time now to check in with digital lifestyle expert Mario Armstrong, who shows us how he's using Amazon devices and Alexa to help us spend more time at home. 
Hi, I'm digital lifestyle expert Mario Armstrong, and we're all pretty much at home these days, so I teamed up with Amazon to show you how I use their devices throughout the day to stay healthy, entertained, and productive. I just ask Alexa. So let's start in the bedroom. It's easy to set up custom routines in the Alexa app. For example, in the morning when I wake up, I just say, Alexa, good morning. My lights turn on to 50%, the fan turns off, and I get the weather. In New York, it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. To get productive, I set up my workday routine. You're gonna see my Philips Hue light bulb turn on to my set level. I'm gonna get calendar reminders and an inspirational quote. All I gotta say is, Alexa, it's time to work. At 11.30 a.m., there's Hire a New Writer for video series. Here is your quote for today. I find that the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. Now, busy at-home parents, you can keep your kids engaged while you work with the Fire HD8 Kids Edition tablet where kids can access curated educational content. Plus, Amazon Free Time and Free Time Unlimited parental controls allow you to choose what content they see, create educational goals, and set time limits by activity. Now it's time to focus on you, and Alexa can help when it comes to food, fitness, and fun. Using my Fire TV Stick 4K, I can ask for workouts like yoga and one Peloton. And if I don't want to work out, I ask Alexa for recommendations from Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus, and more just by using my voice. And when I get hungry, I just say, Alexa, open Food Network Kitchen. Here's Food Network Kitchen. I get to check out tons of delicious favorite recipes from some of my favorite Food Network chefs, which has actually been helping me be a better cook. Thanks for hanging out with me. Look, if you wanna learn how you can use Amazon devices in your home, just go to amazon.com slash devices. Alexa, say goodbye. Goodbye. So what's the secret behind flawless red carpet skin? Image Spa MD offers beauty transformations with top of the line technology and personalized treatments available just for you. Look and feel better in as little as one visit to Image Spa MD. Image Spa MD offers beauty transformations with top of the line technology and personalized treatments available just for you, all in a relaxing atmosphere. Look your best and boost your confidence with the help of the trained professionals at Image Spa MD. Love your skin and love your body. Visit the experts at Image Spa MD with three locations to serve you. I love my dogs and they've been keeping me sane throughout COVID-19. But across the world in familiar places like South Korea and India, dogs are often considered food and not companions. And Defensive Animals partners with committees across the world to save dogs from slaughterhouses, puppy mills, and more. We have rescue sanctuaries in India, we have a rescue sanctuary in Mississippi, and we have a rescue sanctuary in South Korea, where this wonderful girl came from, Judy. So what exactly is the Korean Jindo? It's a breed of hunting dog, and though considered a national treasure, many are used for consumption. Connecting with loving families in North America. So we fly to multiple airports. You can see all of them if you go to our website. But COVID has kept dogs and rescuers anxious. It's been impossible to get flight volunteers because nobody's really flying. It's actually about four times the price. And any of us can help fly dogs to the US by being a flight volunteer. As long as you're flying directly from Korea to somewhere in North America, you can help. All you need to do really is get in contact with us and give yourself a little bit more time at the airport. We handle everything. Our, our rescue partners in Korea are absolutely incredible people. They've got all of the paperwork signed. Um, all of these dogs have had rafts of vaccinations. They're all, you know, ready to go. They're in their crates. And to adopt Jindo dogs? Really, all you need to do is join the Facebook group. You go onto Facebook and you type in Jindo Love Rescue available for adoption. Help save these intelligent, lovable dogs who need forever homes. Fly, adopt, or donate. Bringing you the best of California, Jenny Ha, California Life HD. She's well known for her success in Rock and Republic, and now she has her own swimsuit line called Swimminista. Andrea Bernholz shares a few tips on what the next swimsuit trends are going to be. Um, as far as some trends that I'm seeing, you know, or like the high-waisted, 
that um, can be very tummy controlling and super chic at the same time, kind of a throwback to retro and also kind of the bra style. Uh, my, my two biggest sellers are bra style bathing suits that have built in underwires and, and kind of hidden components. Um, also kind of things are going a little cheekier than they used to be. I have a, a, this, a one piece that's called Cheerful. I can't keep it in stock. I have, um, I've recut it like three or four times. I've just added new colors. Um, the new colors are launching on the site on the 25th of this month. So I'm very excited for that. And then from those elements, like the top portion of it with the adjustability, because it kind of looks like a halter, but it doesn't hurt your neck the way that it's done and it's adjustable. So I've also made that into separate. So I love that too. So it's called the cheer. And then I have um, a smart bottom that's adjustable and it's ruched up the butt. So it makes, it rounds out your tush. It's super cute. What inspired you to start this whole line? And I know that you were doing Rock and Republic and you're a co-founder of that. Just tell me a little bit more about that. So in the pursuit of finding the best bathing suit, I was in Mexico with a bunch of friends and they suggested since I came from Rockland Republic and I knew manufacturing, I start swimwear. And uh, at the time I had just sold my company and was um, really not looking to get back into manufacturing, but then I, I couldn't get it out of my mind. So then I started Frankensteining some suits together mm -hmm. and created Swimanista. I took my love for fashion and swim and that's how I kind of came up with the name as well. It's all about comfort, sustainability, looking good, looking chic. People, they love the bright colors. They love, you know, or a nautical theme. I do a blue and white stripe. That's really cute. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, take care. For more information, visit sumanista.com. Reporting for California Life HD, I'm Isabel Sadek. Don't know how to deal with your children's stress at home? Well, today I had the privilege of speaking to author Brian Ray, and he gave me a few tips on how to deal with the stress that comes with quarantine for kids. Thank you, Brian, for speaking with us today about a topic that is very rarely discussed among children and parents. Let us in on what your books are all about and how they can be helpful tools to guide children and parents towards a healthy mind. Uh, Unraveling Rose is about a little bunny with a big worry thought that won't leave her alone. I discovered that a lot of children out there are dealing with obsessive thoughts. So I thought it might be worth focusing on that. And the same is true uh, with Max's Box. One of the biggest challenges for me uh, as a parent was teaching them how to manage their emotions in a healthy and effective way. So I thought, well, maybe there's other parents and other children out there that could benefit from, from stories like this. So during this pivotal time in children's lives and throughout this whole pandemic, what are some helpful and simple ways that parents can have a mental health checkup with their children? To try and create an environment where children feel comfortable expressing themselves and talking about their emotions. Younger children in particular, I think really need to feel a connection to their parents to help regulate their emotions. And there's a few ways we can do that. There's a few ways we can make time every day as parents and also for our children to help find that relaxing time. Uh, singing, listening to music, these are great ways to do it. Reading stories is something that we do every day and it's a great time to sort of slow everything down, spend some time together. And we know that reading stories aloud has a lot of positive benefits in terms of like language development, but it also means that you have an opportunity to talk about emotions. You can talk about things that are going on. It feels safe and relaxed to do that. It's really important. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me about this. It's a really important issue, and specifically now with dealing with so much change, you know, it's important to remember that kids are feeling it too. Their lives have been disrupted as well. So I think it's really wonderful that you're taking the time to talk about it. For more information on Brian's books, visit authorbrianray.com. And that's it for us. If you missed any part of our show, go to our website, californialifehd.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I'm your host, Heather Dawson. We'll see you next time. California Life brings you the best of California. California Life brings you news that is...